everybody, welcome to another episode of Sit and Spin with me, your host, Joe Royal, and today on the show, I almost didn't have a show, because I didn't really have anything to talk about, and I kind of got sidetracked uh, binge-watching the new Daredevil series on Netflix, which is a whole new song. But, thanks to the fine folks at Bull Moose Music here in Maine, uh, there was a contest that I had entered that I actually won, and that fortuitously gave me something to talk about this week, and that was, had something to do with the t-shirt I'm wearing, which was part of what I won, and that would be the band Bad Company who have recently reissued, remastered, and re-released in deluxe format the band's first two albums, the self-titled Bad Company, and the follow-up album, Straight Shooter. And I won a copy of the deluxe vinyl version of that album. Bad Company, of course, if for some reason you're unfamiliar with them, are a British supergroup formed in 1973, consisting of former members of the band Free, and singer Paul Rogers, arguably one of the greatest rock singers ever, drummer Simon Kirk, and former guitarist uh, from Mott the Hoople, Nick Ralphs. In fact, Ready for Love off the band's debut album was originally a Mott the Hoople song. Not a lot of people were aware of that. And former King Crimson bassist Boz Burrell. All groups in their original form that I liked just as much as I got Bad Company. There have been several lineup changes to Bad Company over the years, but since we're talking about the classic lineup of the band's first two albums, we're not going to get into all that, but... They were managed by Led Zeppelin manager Peter Grant and thereby signed to Led Zeppelin's swan song in front later Atlantic Records. Their self-titled debut, Bad Company, this is the original pressing of the album, came out in 1974 featuring the songs Can't Get Enough, Moving On, Rock Steady, Ready for Love, Seagull, and of course the title track, all of which pretty much are still played on classic FM rock radio to this day, as well as the songs from the band's sophomore release, Straight Shooter, which was released in 1975 and features the hits Feel Like Making Love, Shooting Star, which was inspired by the deaths of Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, and Janis Joplin, and this track you're hearing right now, Good Love and Not Bad, which is probably one of, if not my favorite Bad Company song of all time, just a awesome raw vocal performance from Paul Rogers and Mick Ralph's smoking solo that you just heard right there. The record went to number three on both the U.S. and the U.K. charts, going gold only a month after being released. And this is what I got this week. I won this fine deluxe double LP version of Straight Shooter. And both the CD and the, the album versions come with a bonus disc of songs. The CD version does have extra material that's not on the vinyl version. It's because they would have had to make it a three album set to fit it all onto the vinyl version. The vinyl, as well as the CDs, were uh, remastered from the original master tapes. And the vinyl itself was remastered at half speed mastering at Abbey Road Studios for superior mastering sound. If you're familiar with vinyl at all and you know what half speed mastering is, too technical to get into it, but basically, trust me, it really makes a difference. And what it is cool that they, they put the um, second bonus disc of songs. It would have been nicer if they could have put some of the extras on there, but that's all right. The bonus tracks are uh, previously unreleased in rare recordings. So they mostly amount to alternate takes and kind of demo versions of some of the songs. Not necessarily essential, but really cool to hear what might have been. There's a cool like uh, harmonica version of Feel Like Making Love and, and some other stuff that's really nice. But very, very nice packaging. The inner sleeves actually feature kind of a replication of like the outside tape boxes from the album recording sessions, which is kind of cool. And overall, just, just a nice package. The CDs are actually a little bit cheaper. You can actually pick up both CDs for less than the cost of one of these vinyl packages. And I'm really kind of glad I won this because I probably either would have held off while I'm buying it um, or not gotten it at all. But um, I was actually seriously thinking about getting this record because I'm uh, a big fan of this album. So, very happy I won it. And the lovely t-shirt, too. It's really cool on the back. It's got all the band members' names. It's established 1973. But, enough rambling from me! That is the show this week. You can go out and get both those now. Stores everywhere. If you live in Maine, hey, why not pick them up at Bull Moose? But get them wherever you need to get them. Get them online on iTunes if you need to. They're available that way, too. But that's the show. Hopefully you're catching my friend Scott over at Righteous Final, as well as the Riff of the Day guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, like it on the page, comment on it, and share it with your friends. And you know what? We need a good challenge. It's been a while since I had a good challenge. If you guys out there have a good musical challenge for me, like the Joshua Taylor challenge we had a few years back, or you have a cool idea for a show, put it in the comments. Let me know. Say something on the page, because I'm, I'm in the mood for a good, good sit and spin challenge. So, 
come up with them and get back to me and we'll catch you next time on Sin Spin. See you then.